uh, central government and state government are totally insensitive to the poor and the farmers of this country. So I am not surprised at all they had done this. If you remember the first U-turn the central government did was when the farmers did not give up. Farmers are very tough, they are very honest and they are very dedicated and committed. And it's unfortunate that a government which constantly talks about good programs is completely anti-farmer. But uh, using of tear gas and forces, you know... Uh... No, no, I condemn any such action against any citizen. And that to farmers who feed us, who work so hard. In the entire COVID, everybody was in lockdown. But not one farmer had a lockdown. He worked, he works, not just during COVID, but he works 365 days, 24 by 7. It's a completely insensitive government and I condemn any such actions against any citizen in this country. I will miss her. She's one of the most finest and dignified members we have worked with. She carries herself extraordinarily well with class and dignity. She's always spoken in parliament. Her attendance, her presence has been amazing. She's one of the senior leaders in India who was always in parliament. She's always very, very punctual. She's there for all important debates. So we will definitely miss her and I will personally miss her because I sit right behind her. So I've had the privilege and the honor of working with Sonia Ji for many years. I wish her all the good luck in the world and the best health and I will definitely miss her in Lok Sabha. She's filing a nomination from Rajasthan. Yes, Rajasthan. that's what I hear. Uh, the question is about the forthcoming uh, Lok Sabha election and the farmers' plight in India and in Maharashtra. Because farmers' distress is huge. In this price rise, unemployment, we have just come back from parliament and extraordinarily feedback which is very, very painful for us and very challenging for people of India. So we had a long, detailed discussion about the challenges ahead of the country, the state and the citizens as well as we discussed what has been discussed in Mahavikas Agadi meetings and our entire election campaign. Ma'am, two major uh, uh, deadlocks right now, one is your symbol and uh, the another one is uh, seat sharing formula. No, no, seat sharing is not a deadlock at all. Please don't be under any, any illusion. The Mahavika Sagadi talks are absolutely on track. Okay, and about the symbols? Sir? Symbol now, I mean, I won't like to say injustice. Obviously, this is a bully who's trying to take away, and as I call it, this Adrusha Shakti with special powers, constantly wants to hurt Maharashtra and Maharashtra's pride. We are very proud, honest people. The party was founded by Sri Sharad Pawar, so obviously it belongs to him. And whenever Mr. Pawar has left the Congress, he has created his own identity. He has never taken anything away from anybody. But, well, times are different, and this Adrusha Shakti wants to hurt Maharashtra. And that's why this kind of conspiracy is ha happening against Maharashtra and Maharashtra's pride.